What do you know about the national organization? Uh, I know it's not too many organization. We're looking for the next years. I'm very very During the combine and the interview process and stuff like that, did you talk with them very much? Uh, I didn't go to the combine because it's a year, but everything's getting taken care of. We're getting ready. With Nashville having a history of uh, really good defensemen and defensive prospects coming up, is that something you're looking forward to? Definitely. And I can just hope to be part of it one day. What, uh, how would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I'd say I can I read the ice very well, make, make very few turnovers, uh, and make the right decisions most of the time. Who, who would you compare yourself to? Uh, I'd say probably Brian Fulton. So you're looking forward to coming to the development camp in a couple of weeks? Uh, definitely. Do you know any of the other guys in the Predators organization? Uh, John Blum. Another California guy? Exactly. Yeah. This has been a big year for uh, California players to get drafted. Yeah, it has. Is that uh, is the hockey program out here growing? Uh, I think so. Like we have about seven to eight rinks in uh, Orange County, and everything's going. And we're just looking to get even more draft picks in from California. Have you spoken with John at all um, about this? Uh, not yet. Really? Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, I mean, are you guys good friends? Yeah, we're pretty. Uh huh. We talk a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, you're another one of the California kids and, um, you know, I mean, you know, being like, the, I believe, the, third, or the fourth Californian or California, you know, player who played here in California, already taken in the draft this early. I mean, you know, what do you feel that says about our state, you know, hockey? I think that everyone needs to watch out for California, uh, even Canada. Uh -huh. A lot of, a lot of great hockey players are coming from here, and you better watch out. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and uh, you know, can you tell me about you know some of the uh, you know the, the you know the teams that you played for here in California? Uh, 16 Triple A, I played for the California Wave. Okay. Uh, Mike Lewis was my coach. And oh right, yeah. Uh -huh. And then 18 Triple A, I played for the LA Junior Kings. You played for Jack Bocas? Yes. Yeah. What did you learn from both uh, Jack and from Mike? Uh, they're un unbelievable coaches. They know how to play the game. They know what it takes to win. And they went to nationals both years. And I couldn't be happier. Yeah. Was uh, Jack instrumental in, in getting you to, to uh, go up to play in the dub uh, with Portland? Uh, you know, he just said it was my decision to make. It's my uh -huh. life to live. He uh -huh. wasn't swaying me either way. Uh -huh. And he just knew that I'd make the right decision. Yeah. I mean, and then what's it been like for you, you know, playing with, you know, Portland, and how's it, you know, prepared you to get up to this point? I love it in Portland. I have uh -huh. great coaches, great teammates, and it's a great city to play in. Uh -huh. What have been some of the things that you know you've really learned that's really, you know, made you a better player? Uh, I think to be more confident and uh -huh. be able to hold on to the puck longer and make the right plays and first passes. And then my last question to you is, uh, you know, what would you like to, you know, bring to the national, you know, organization in the future? Whatever they want from me. Yeah, I mean, like, if, for example, like, I mean, like, so some of your, you know, greatest strengths that you feel like will really help the organization. I think just being a steady player and doing whatever I can to help all the team, and whether it's playing defense or jumping up in the play, I'll do whatever it takes. Great, thanks. What was your reaction when you called your name? I felt unreal, unreal excited. What was it like having a year and having your family here? I think it's even more special to have your family involved in everything you do. Uh, my family's been there since day one. Uh, I think for so much for that. How many families do you think you had here? I had about seven or eight. What does it mean for California hockey in general? Emerson, a lot of guys are getting drafted. You know, this is the best draft ever, I guess, for California kids. What do you say about the way hockey's grown around here? I think that hockey, a lot of the coaches have taken it in and realized that California is a hotbed for hockey players. And everyone's just going to see later on that a lot of California players are going to make it. When you go maybe back to your rink where you played your minor your midget hockey, and see little kids. Do you see the skill level at you know from where they are, six, seven, eight years old, from back when you were six, seven, eight years old, and how it's so much better now? I think when you're playing when you're seven, eight, it's a lot different than when you go see. I would say twelve. Let's say twelve. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd say you can definitely see a lot of talent. I mean, California kids have some of the kids that are going up have great hands. Some have been becoming big hitters, and they're each striving to be their own player.
you think that in a couple of years they're going to look to you and say, hey, Tyler did it, I can do it? I'd, I'd love that, but I, I bet you they'd probably pick Bo or Emerson or Blom over me. But <laughs> <laughs> Have you talked to John at all? Uh, I talked to him a little bit, yeah. Have you given any ideas of what the, uh, I guess he'll give you ideas of what Nashville's like? Exactly. Did you ever play with him, John? No, the Predators have a certain brand of hockey where it's 20 men in every night, team play, no stars. Is that something you're looking forward to? Definitely. You mentioned that you went to Nationals twice. What team is that one? Uh, the California Wave 6 in AAA and then the LA Junior Kings 6 in AAA. Did you have any idea of who you might be taking? Did they call you? Uh, I had a meeting with them on Thursday, but <laughs> you never know who's going to take you. So. What was your impression of uh, Nashville in that meeting? I thought it was very professional, and I had some other meetings with other teams, and I just felt actually felt really right about that. And, and all the people were very nice and very friendly. I just think that was the best. And you have a history with John Blum and Paul, just in the sense that you guys are both California. Does that make it? That give you an immediate bond when you get to training camp? Or? I hope so. Besides <laughs> <laughs> all your life? Yeah. yeah. Is there a family tradition of hockey in your family, or are you kind of the first one? I'm the first one. You're the first one. How did that start? How did your passion for the game start? Uh, when I was four, uh, the only sport I was really going to play was hockey. So I suited up in that. Then I also tried other sports, and it wasn't anything really close to hockey. You ever been to Nashville before? No, I haven't. What have you heard about the city? I, I don't really know. I've never known anyone who really goes there. You like, you like country music? Yeah, I do. They have other music too. <laughs> Take it from a California kid like me who lives there now, you don't need to like country music. <laughs> Good barbecue. Yes. <laughs> So real quick, one more time, uh, you have a history of John Blow in the Cal in the main California. Do you I mean, I'm re asking the question, of course, but do you, do you think that gives you a special bond when you get to Terry Cam and does that make it easier? Do you have any relationships with other guys? Uh, the only relationship I have is with John Blow. Okay. So I hope that he helps me out in whatever way he can. And I look forward to it. And what do you and kind of describe the game a little bit for those of us who don't get to see a lot of junior hockey? Uh, I'd say I. I can take the puck up, I can also stay back and play defense, I make very few turnovers, make good first passes, and I'm confident with the puck, and make the right decisions. Thank you, congratulations. Thank you.